Before we can do anything with the Arduino board, we need to install the Arduino development environment. Point your preferred web browser towards arduino.cc and click on Software. Once the page loads, select the download option suited to your operating system. I'm on Windows and I'm in a hurry, so I'll select the Windows installer. I'm cheap, so I'll click on Just Download. Even if Arduino is a free, open-source project, they do need financial support to keep making stuff. Once downloaded, run the installer with administrative privileges. Agree to all the terms and conditions. Select all the installation component options. You may use the default installation location. I'm just placing it somewhere convenient for me later on. And then wait for the installer to finish. Once installed, start the Arduino development environment for it to configure itself for the first time. The first run on my machine took almost one minute to complete. Enable all firewall pass-through options. If you have OneDrive installed and your documents folder automatically backed up to it, Arduino may trigger a downloading spree if you have installed it in the past. This is the Arduino development environment where you will write your code, compile it, and upload it to your board. First, we need to update the installed boards. To do so, go to the Tools menu, then Board, then Boards Manager. Select Updatable from the Type drop-down list to filter boards that need to be updated. Select the board to update and click on the Update button. The download and installation process takes a while. Once completed with no error messages, close the board's manager dialog. If you do encounter any errors, usually closing Arduino and restarting it would clear this issue. Test the installation by clicking on the check mark icon on the toolbar. This will make Arduino try to compile the empty program. If it says done compiling, your Arduino development environment is ready to use.